poverty for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf khalqillah. All the praise and glory is due to Allah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his last prophet and messenger. My dear respected brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this life, we are facing a severe challenge in every talk and walk and step that we take. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam expected that these are the trials in the last days of this life. The Prophet ﷺ expressed that in his saying, Fitanan ka qita'il laylil muslim. Trials which are stuck together like the darknesses of the night. A person becomes a believer and he turns away in his night as an unbeliever. He loses the whole of his religion just for a few cents, for a few dollars, for a few dirhams or dinars. We are facing a lot of trials. The trials of money, the trials of high ranks and positions, the trials of the wives and the women and the children, the trials which is exemplified in the a lot of affluences and wealth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers upon us day and night. So everybody should think that we are in a big test in this life. We are in a severe, facing a severe challenge before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to prove our Iman, to prove ourselves as well. There is another challenge which is facing the true believers, people who would like actually to accept the true methodology of Islam because Islam is being attacked everywhere. And the Prophet sallallahu anticipated that and he said in his authentic hadith, يُوشِكُ أَن تَدَاعَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْأُمَمْ كَمَا تَدَاعَ الْأَكَلَةُ إِلَىٰ قَصَعَتِهَا Soon you will find all the nations competing with each other to attack you. A man stood up and said, O Messenger of Allah, is it because we will be a few in number? The Messenger وسلم, said, No. You will be multitude. You will be great masses. But you will... Be like the foam, like the ashes in the mighty stream. You will be like the mighty stream challenging you everywhere. So you will not well, you will not have that weight, you will not have that strength in Iman. And the Prophet ﷺ also said, Bada al Islam wa gariba. Islam started strange. And it will return back as strange again. So this type of strangeness that faces a true believer is a big trial that the person should enjoy perseverance. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala talked to us about in the Quran, about a lot of nations, about of a lot of people who were very patient, perseverance, they enjoyed perseverance in their life and they were very strong in their Iman and did not shake them even for an inch. That's why there are a lot of reasons and there are a lot of ways and means of establ establishing the believer's feet on the straight path and being steadfast before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the top of them is the Quran, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, this is the best way of keeping yourself firm on the straight path. Because the Quran includes a lot of stories of people who are very strong and this is strengthening the spirit of the believers. The Quran included the example of Mary, Maryam, the example of Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. She lived in a palace full of persecution. A man who claimed for himself that he is the Lord of the world. It's a man who persecuted her day and night when he realized that she is a true believer until he fixed her fingers in the walls of his palace, crucified her, bleeding, 
and she did not leave her religion at all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let her look in the sky, in the, uh, in the fogs, and he found in the clouds a palace which is made for herself. She cried to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Rabbi ibni li indaka baytan fil jannah. O oh Allah, build for me a palace in the garden of paradise. وَنَجِّنِي مِنْ فِرْعَوْنَ وَعَمَلِهِ وَنَجِّنِي مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ And save me from Pharaoh and his persecution and from the people, the wrongdoers. So Allah subhanahu wa look at the geniusness in the dua and the prayers that she made. That she asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a palace in the companionship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, made by Allah, designed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and save me from the persecution of Fir'aun. We have the example of the people of the ditch. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Qutila ashabul ukhdud annari dhatil waqud إِذْ هُمْ عَلَيْهَا قُعُودٌ The people of the ditch were killed. The fire was set. They were cast in the hell fire, in the fire. Why? Because of their iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the tyrannical ruler tried to persecute them. One of the stories is that at the end, there was a baby was being cast in the fire. His mother was actually scared, and the baby called upon his, his, uh, uh, upon his mother and said, Oh my mother, be, on this, be steadfast on the straight path. You are on the truth. You are guided by Allah. And then she was thrown after him immediately in the fire. My brothers and sisters in Islam, the Quran gave us those examples to make us steadfast in Iman. The sisters whose hijab is removed sometimes. The sisters who are insulted sometimes because of their hijab, because of their Islam. People who are being persecuted, put in the prison because they are true believers. Stay fast. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rewarding you. The life is so short and you are receiving the garden of paradise, enjoying the pleasures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers, a part of the means to keep yourself steadfast on the straight path is to have a good companionship around you. The peer, that pressure will be removed because you have good companionship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked the Prophet sallallahu and said, وَاصْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ Keep yourself patient with the people who call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who worship Allah. The poor, the people surrounding the Messenger of Allah, they were a very good support for him. Khadija, for example, when the Prophet ﷺ had the first experience with Jibreel ﷺ, she said, don't worry, don't be sad. Allah will never ever lose you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never put you down. You are a man of generosity, of hospitality. You are a man of good situations with Allah, so he will never put you down at all. So this is one of the factors that the believer must be surrounded by the good people, by the good companionship. This will give him good strength and support before the other trials that facing him. One of the best and important means of establishing the believer's feet firm on the truth is Allah's zikr, zikrullah. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all the trials and seeking true and sincere refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the example of Yusuf, Joseph alayhi salam. One was afflicted by the trial of the woman in the palace, seducing him and asking him to commit adultery. This is a message to our youth, to the young people, to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the secret in the whole story of, of Yusuf alayhi salam? He only said one word, he said, Allah. He said, I seek refuge in Allah, facing the difficulty of committing adultery and fornication. He said, I seek refuge in Allah. And he said, Illa tasrif anni asbu wa akum min al 
if you do not drive the shahwa and the desire away from me, I cannot face them by myself. I do not have the ability. That's why the believer should say this dua. Oh Allah, oh Allah, I'm innocent, I'm innocent, I'm clear, I'm clearing myself away from my hawl, from my strength, from my own power. And I seek refuge in your own power, in your own strength, in your own help, in your support. These are some of the ways to keep yourself on the straight path, firm, established. The month of Ramadan is a sizable opportunity for the believers. You are now being trained to give up smoking. You are now being trained to keep your relations with your relatives. You are going to be trained to keep yourself away from the food and drink, to keep yourself patient, perseverant, to keep yourself on the good qualities, close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shedding the tears out of the fear of Allah. You feel that sweetness of Iman. This is a type of, of being steadfast on the straight path. Keep yourself. Keep yourself up. Keep yourself higher in the grades of Iman, in the sweetness of belief. Ramadan is a good opportunity for the believers to go on to improve their skills of Iman and to draw themselves closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to face all the challenges, to face all the trials, facing them in the east, in the east and in the west, everywhere, saying to everybody, we are dedicated slaves of Allah. We fear nobody but Allah. We are the slaves of Allah alone and we are submitting ourselves to Him alone. I seek refuge in Allah from the evil of my deeds, and I ask Him to shower His mercy upon all the believers everywhere in the world, and to make this month, the month of Ramadan, a source of mercy and tranquility upon all of us. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan.